So when I think about um, the, the way we talked about early childhood development over the last few decades, mm-hmm. there are things that we did need to be taught. Um, for example, when, you know, two decades ago, we started to talk about brain development. Mm-hmm. Um, back then, not a lot of people knew, well, very few of us sure. are neuroscientists. So when people start to talk about brain development, even researchers themselves wanted to learn mm-hmm. what is that we can do about brain development. Mm-hmm. Around the same time, uh, when economists stepped in mm-hmm. and start to talk about these long-term return on investment analysis. Again, few of us are economists, mm-hmm. so we wanted to learn about all these. But there's something fundamentally about a different about early relational health, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like each one of us are relationship mm-hmm. builders. Mm-hmm. You don't have to have a degree. You don't have to have a title to be someone who's deeply invested in relationships. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to early relational health, I do think that the most important thing we can do is to affirm and to remind people whether you know, whether they're parents, whether they're practitioners, whether they're even policymakers, just to remind them something that each of us have deeply felt in our own lives. Mm-hmm.